Charity Pierce was 39 years old and weighed 778 pounds when she came to Dr. Now for help in season three of My 600 Pound Life. Today, we're diving into five craziest moments from her story. From troubling childhood experiences to her fiance cheating on her with her sister, this episode was wild from start to finish. Before we get started though, give this video a like and be sure to subscribe to Plot Twist. Now let's dive into the five craziest moments of Charity's weight loss journey. One of the craziest moments of Charity's episode is when she wakes up in the morning and needs to use the bathroom. She calls on her fiance Tony to bring over the toilet as she's too big to fit in the bathroom and needs to use a portable toilet in the middle of her living room. He lifts her legs one by one and helps her eventually get up and out of bed and onto her walker so she can use the toilet right in the middle of the house. It's devastating to see that she weighs so much that a toilet can't sustain her weight and it's tragic to see just how hard her life has become due to her massive size. She can't fit in the bathtub either so she has to be bathed with a sponge every day by either her daughter or fiance. It's so sad to see how hard it is to perform basic human functions at her size. You gotta bring that toilet over, babe. Okay, Walker. I'm embarrassed of my body. I can't even sit in the bathtub, so I have to sponge bath. Oh, you're gonna hunt me up. If my fiance and daughter didn't help me, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I never used to take her weight seriously until a couple months ago when I actually saw how much pain she's in. You get the hand about out here. It makes me worry about her. I just want her to be healthy so she can be around. Charity makes me happy and I love like being around her. So I take care of her most all the time, every day. Charity opens her story by being brutally honest. She had a horrible childhood and was not shy to talk about it. She goes on to recall her father's alcoholism, saying that he was a total drunk and not at all a good parent. When he came home from work, he would abuse his family, throw dishes around the kitchen, and eventually pass out. This is when Charity would run into the kitchen and eat food, clearly to comfort herself and have an escape from her life. It was the one thing she could control in her life, yet it ended up becoming an addiction that only made her suffer even more. She couldn't just eat one cake, she had to eat two or three. Her life soon spiraled out of control. After dealing with her tragic childhood this way, she feels like she's been consumed by her addiction to food and has entirely given up on herself as a consequence. I had a pretty bad childhood. My father was a drunk. I was so scared of him. I remember running when it was time for him to get off work. He would throw the dishes out of the cupboard and he would punch us in the back of the head and it felt like my whole life was in panic all the time. Every night after he passed out, my comfort was to go in the kitchen and eat. I remember I used to love those times in the kitchen by myself. I was okay as long as I was eating. I never would eat one snack cake. I'd eat three or four. I would never eat one donut. I would eat four or five. I think it's just because it's the one thing I could control. Like, okay, look, I can do this, and there's nothing you can say about it. Charity can't even leave her house without a team of multiple workers helping to get her up. She calls an ambulance to have a crew sent over to her house to lift her out of her bed and transport her to Dr. Now's office in Houston. She can't even get out of bed and walk a few steps without the help of a walker and can't get through her front door without turning sideways. It's an extremely hard process to just leave her home and Charity mentions that she never feels that she's really had a real life because she's stuck inside all the time. She has no idea what life is like outside of her home but claims she's willing to take the risk in order to have a new lease on her life. The average person could just get up and walk out of their house but Charity needs an entire team to help her just move a leg. For me to get to the hospital, I have to ride an ambulance and it takes a lot of guys usually to lift me up. It's just a hard process and I don't want to deal with it anymore. Love you. Love you too. Bye. I spent my whole life indoors or in a hospital. I've never had a life. So I don't know what I'm missing. I'm taking this risk because it's the only opportunity I have. It's my last resort. I have to try or I'm gonna die. According to Dr. Now, Charity was so obese he was afraid to even send her home. Usually patients who weigh too much for surgery just go home and lose weight before they come back. 
Instead, Dr. Now wanted to keep her in the hospital and monitor her for 24 hours a day, which is uncommon for patients we've seen on the show. Apparently, Charity's been on the verge of death all along. She was put on a strict 1,000 calorie diet of high protein and low fat so she can drop as much weight as possible while under the doctor's close, watchful eye. After spending a massive three months in the hospital, Charity actually lost 50 pounds and was well on her way to getting her life back on track. But was Charity's short-term success just a result of her highly, strictly controlled eating habits? Being under constant provision had made it easy for her to lose weight in the hospital. Could she stick to that diet on her own with tasting temptations in front of her all the time? I've been in the hospital for a couple months, and it's been hard. But the doctor said I'm doing well enough to go home. I'm really proud of the weight I've lost. We got Charity's health, and we're going in the right direction now but we have been making choices for her for the last month. Long-term success is far more likely for patients who show they can control their eating habit on their own. So I need to see if she can lose 40 pounds over the next month on her own. I can't stop making progress. I have to get the surgery. And now I'm gonna to have to get rid of all the temptations in the house. When Charity returned to the hospital, she only lost 18 pounds. Surprisingly, Dr. Knott was still impressed with her work ethic and awarded her for the opportunity to have weight loss surgery. He kept her in the hospital for a bit longer to see if she can come under 700 pounds, and luckily for her, the surgery worked out. But when her mother suddenly passed away, she briefly messed up her diet and didn't lose enough weight to be qualified for skin surgery. She felt devastated that she didn't lose enough weight in time to be able to leave the hospital and go see her mom. In another insane twist, her fiance cheated on her with her own sister. After these setbacks, it seemed nearly impossible for her to move forward. But after getting back on track, seeking therapy, and once once again trying to get her diet in order, she eventually did lose enough weight to have her excess skin removed, making her one of the series' biggest successes. Today we're going to see Dr. Now and see if I qualify for skin surgery. I know I've made some progress because I can finally fit in a regular vehicle. Charity, your weight is down enough for us to do your skin surgery. <laughs> so I'm going to approve you and we're going to schedule you for next month. Once we remove this masses, the pain she has from the source they create will be gone. I need the surgery in order to survive, in order to move forward. So I'm excited about it, but I'm also nervous. It's been hard, but I'm proud of how far charity has come. It's gonna be a whole new life for her.